Hey guys, this is Blush Views and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm back with another Barbie doll review. And on today's episode, I have one of the dolls from the Barbie movies. So she is 2006 Barbie Fairytopia Mermaidia doll. So she is the fairy to Mermaid Elena doll. So yeah, as you guys know that recently I've been doing few of the Barbie movies dolls, so I figured that I should be doing this doll as well. So today I'm finally here with her. So yeah, let us look into the doll now. So Barbie sits in this very beautifully designed box. So it just has little cutouts on the sides and it's totally see-through from the sides as well. So on the top left hand side it says Mermaidia DVD coming spring 2006 and it has Barbie Fairytopia Mermaidia DVD box pack and it has those pearl design and cutouts over there. On this side it says Fairy to Mermaid Alina and it, we can see the pearls cut out clear this time. And in the middle we have this very beautiful Barbie doll. On the right side it says Add Tail, She's a Mermaid and it says 18 inch wings. And down here we have the photo of her being a mermaid with her mermaid tail on. And in the middle it says Barbie Fairytopia Mermaidia and it's glittery as you can see it's really beautiful, I love it. And on the left side below it says warning and it has the pearl cutout and on this side it has the same cutout with the mermaid cutout on the top. So on the left side of the box it has the little cutouts on the top and the bottom and it's the doll is totally see-through from the side. And on the below it says made in Indonesia and all the other details. So on the top of the box as we can see the pearl cutouts and it's kind of bigger than it was on the sides. So on the right side also the pearl cutouts are continued and it says barbie.com at the bottom. So at the bottom of the box there are a few details about the Barbie's manufacturing so if you want to read that please pause the video. At the back of the box we have this very beautiful big pictures of the doll. So it shows the bigger wings and how to play with her and stuff. So it says number one lower the wings, number two add tail, she's a mermaid and it shows the picture. So as I look into this picture I just realized she is a little different. If you guys look at her legs she has a flower heel. So when I show you guys the doll out of the box later you'll figure out that she does not have that rose heel. So it says, Elena can be changed from a fairy to a mermaid like in the movie. And it has a literal storyline, so if you want to read that, please pause the video. And also at the bottom, it says, dolls and DVD or video each sold separately. And subject to be availability, colors and decoration may vary, doll cannot stand alone or fly alone. It says, of Mattel and we have the product code out there. So usually I would be saying that let's take this doll out of the box and have a better look on her. But today I'm not going to be taking her out of the box because I have another one already out of the box. So I will be reviewing, I mean her instead of her because they both are the same. But I would also like to show you a little differences they have because they do have differences. So yeah, let us check the differences and what she comes with. So she does comes with this instruction which is like in a multi-language as you can see. So it says Barbie and the Barbie logo is the one that we got after the 2003 I believe. So it has the contents which is the doll, the tail and the wings. And it says few of the things so if you want to read that please pause the video. So on the second page it shows how to put on her wings onto her. And it shows how to lower them and how to make them a tail. So there are a lot of things. So on the back it also shows how to get the wings back up. So let us talk about the doll now and let's start off with her face. So she uses this very unique face mold which was I think, uh, which I believe was made for the Alina itself. So she has green eyes and it's kind of very big, very dolly eyes. And she uses a electric blue eyeliner on her below and as we can see there are, very, uh, there are a few of the lashes coming down. And she has that very beautiful pattern on, it, on her eyes. It's kind of that petally, you know, very pointed petals as you can see. So, it's, I mean there's a lot, of, a lot of things going on to her eyes as you can see. I mean she has those glitter specks stuck onto her. She has a peachy peach eyeshadow on her lids and that electric blue line which is a little bit darker on her eyelids and it has that very blushy, very blush kind of pink on her brow bone as well as you can see and there are glitters all onto her face as you can see. And her eyebrows is a 
light, I mean, it's a darker blonde or a light brown. It looks really beautiful and she has a very beautiful hot pink lipstick with a glitter stuck onto them. I mean, this head mold is a little bit bigger than the usual Barbie that I used to get at that time, but I believe it's like 2005, 6, and 7 and till now are the I mean those, those were the era when the Barbie head got a little bigger because they were inspired by the popularity of the Bratz doll I believe that's what was the story so as for her hair she has this middle parted stenciled hair blonde hair as you can see so the front two part has been taken up there as a style and it tails are very beautifully curled as you can see I mean it's, it's really tightly curled as you can see in the box so when you take her out of the box, it's even more tighter than this, but I kind of combed it so that it could look naturally curled. So I have, I mean, I have altered a little bit with this hair. Not all of her hair were tied up, just the top part was tied up and the lower part was lower down, but I prefer it this way. So her hair is really messed up, I would say. I mean, it's curly. I mean, it's wavy on the below, on the bottom, on the tips, but it's, I mean, it's basically just this hair. So it has the stencils which are not that curly but, but it does stand out as you can see. So coming down she has this molded body as you can see. So she has a neck piece on the top with the pink beads and a butterfly in the middle with a point where I mean I would, I would be showing that function a little bit later. So as for her bodice she has that uh, metallic pink bodice color and on top of that we have those rose design the hot pink roses as you can see and a little flower so basically she's kind of resembling the underwater kind of plants and stuff and on her hands as well she has those two poofy sleeve kind of stuff i don't know what they are called so yeah that's that so coming down she has a skirt uh, which is hot pink and it has glitter stuck onto them so the skirt is layered with the net fist net the uh, outer layer is the hot pink one and the inner layer is the soft pink one and, and uh, it has this three streamers coming down it kind of resembles like a seaweed i mean i think it's, it's supposed to resemble that so it's soft pink it kind of looks white on the camera but it's soft pink so they are kind of creased and crumpled as you can see and they have glitter stuck onto them so if you're wondering that's dirt on her leg it's not it's glitters and it kind of looks dirty because it's not reflecting lights at the moment but if you do this i mean it shows them that's all glitters so yeah before going down i want to talk about her wings as well so she has this very beautiful big wings i mean i preferred mary pose's wings much more than hers so if you do not know what's, which one is Mariposa, I will link her down in the description below. I had reviewed her as well. So she has this very beautiful big 18 inch wings. So it's kind of a very soft fabric, which I mean, this is not supposed to be like a two layer. I sewed it in two wings so that she could look nice from the back as well. So basically she does not come with this two layered wings. It's just one layered wing. So which is it's like a really thin flap. So it's a hot pink wing with a soft pink design and it's it resembles a really beautiful butterfly. So she looks beautiful with those wings. Coming down, she does not have a she has those swirly designs molded onto her legs itself. And this leg is rubbery, but it's not that bendy one. It does not bend in the knee. I mean it does bend, but it does not have that click ones. So yeah, the legs have those swirls, those plants, the flowers, and uh, two butterflies, as you can see, each one on leg. And on the tip, it has that flower. So as I was talking about the heels, so as you can see in the picture, it has those flower heels and there, oh yeah, there are so many flowers on the tip as well, as you can see. So it's different. So we always do get the different one. So yeah, that's that with the doll. So yeah, I am not going to be putting on this mermaid tail. I mean, I do have an extra one, but I do not know where it is right now. But I am not going to be putting that onto her because that creases the wings so bad. And, you know, it's just a disaster. So before I go into the differences, what differences they have, I just want to show the little functions. So it does go down and it uh, sticks over here, you know, with a click, so as you can see. So basically, once your wings are down, you just fold this in as shown and put the tail in from here and she has a mermaid tail so once you're done playing her as a mermaid and you want to grow her back into the fairy you just press the button that's over here and her wings come up just like that 
So yeah, that's the uh, mechanic thing that she has. So now I do want to talk about the differences that they have. I mean, I do not know why do they have differences, but I believe it's just the manufacturing timings or the country differences. I don't know how did that happen. But yeah, the first difference that I noticed is her is their eyelashes. So this doll that I have the box has a curled eyelashes as you can see. It's moved up upwards and this one has straight eyelashes as you can see it's not curled at all. So yeah, I got this one from Australia and this one from the United States, so I do not know. Uh, I believe it's just the country differences. The other one would be the bodice color. So this one has the metallic pink and this one just have a rosy pink as you can see the differences. Uh, I do not know if that's figurable on the camera, but uh, it does look very different in real. So yeah, it's the same with her uh, arm cuffs as well. So it's very on the pink side and this one is more on the metallic pink. So those are the two differences that I figured out. Uh, besides that, I think everything is the same. So here is my review to the 2006 Barbie Fairytopia Mermaidia doll. So yeah, if I have to recommend this doll, I would say yes, go for it. I mean, I say that purely because I love the Barbie movies and Fairytopia is one of the favorite movies, my favorite movies that Barbie has ever created. And she, uh, for overall doll and quality, I think she looks really nice. I mean, she has that quality of that age. So yeah, I mean, I totally do recommend her. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions, you can hit the comment section below. And yeah, you guys do like my videos. Thank you so much for that. Also, please like and subscribe me. Also, do follow me on Instagram. I really love your love and support out there as well. So until the next video, thank you so much for watching.